Faith Leaders, and welcome to Break Time. Today's proverb is 24, verses 30 through 34. I went past the field of a sluggard, past the vineyard of someone who has no sense. Thorns had come up everywhere, the ground was covered with weeds, and the stone wall was in ruins. I applied my heart to what I observed and learned a lesson from what I saw. A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest, and poverty will come on you like a thief and scarcity like an armed man. Interesting passage of scripture, isn't it? As he looked at the, the, the field that had all the weeds, and I've driven past fields too, and I wondered, I wonder why that field has so much, um, where you could just tell it hasn't been plowed, it hasn't been taken care of, and weeds have overcome the field. And you know, there's all sorts of reasons. By, but Solomon looked at it and saw, hmm, I'm wondering, a little rest, a little folding of the hands, a little sleep, a little slumber, and poverty will strike you, which means don't be a sluggard. When things, when you see things that need to be done, don't wait for others to do them, do them. You know, opportunities cross our paths almost every day of something that needs to be done. And oftentimes we, we sleep, through the, sleep through the opportunity to walk in and really allow our gifts and graces to be used for God. I was thinking of just the other day when I was, shopping and there was a shopping cart out of place you know I thought okay there's somebody that was probably did not want to put their shopping cart back into where it needs to go but yet instead of complaining and moaning and groaning about it just do it you know when you see litter on the ground just do it if we all did our part the world would be a place that would be filled with productivity filled with creativity filled with all well you you name it but a lot of times people become lazy. People become, um, they don't see themselves. Lazy people often do not see themselves as a gift to the world that they live in. And I hope this isn't explaining you and me. If you find yourself where you're not, um, you become restless or you become lazy or you become a sluggard. Maybe you need to take a deep look in and say, I, you are a gifted individual. Every single person has been given at least one gift to use by the Lord. And when that gift is taken outside and buried, what happens to the field? What happens? This passage of scripture, the field becomes filled with weeds. There's nobody taking care of it. Nobody taking care of that piece of real estate, that piece of property. So everybody has been given some gift to make this world a productive place, at least one. And I pray, faith leader, that you are using yours to the full extent, asking God to help you be a productive.